All right, so I'm heading over to uh, Mr. Joel Holine's place. He called me a few days ago or a few weeks ago and said he was gonna be doing a sanding project and leveling his lawn with sand. So I think today is the 6th of September. That's like a good time to do it. All right, guys, so I am at Mr. Joel Holine's house again. He's doing the project again. He's taking my advice for once and now he's got the whole thing sand thing going on how many loads you got today or how many this is it for today how many tons did you get this, this five time tons. five tons so you got five tons here in this uh hi here in this dump trailer did you get the screen stuff oh yeah so this is the mason sand is that right oh yeah mortar sand all right guys so his yard isn't that big so he doesn't need a lot of sand i generally will get like a whole uh truckload of sand but he just doesn't need that much and I mean I don't know if you guys remember from the spring we were doing this project and he's going at it again in the fall and you should have seen his lawn a couple weeks ago it actually looked so fantastic all of the sand was had disappeared and I was really stressed out about that but it, it had totally disappeared now he's going at it again he's got a good setup here that trailer is awesome for doing this work and he's got this big, big guy over here. Is that an 850? Yeah. So when I was here in the spring, this place was just totally covered in sand. And he said that he's been working on this pretty much all day and he's kind of going light with it. So he bought the level lawn rake. What is that, like a 36? No, I think it's only 24. So he bought a little 24 inch rake here and that thing's money for top dressing like this. I was skeptical. It's it's worth its weight. Yeah, he likes it. Those are not cheap, but um, I mean, look how good it works. You just kind of, man, that works way good. Yeah. Honestly, I need one of those. I think it worked better on your lawn too. Man, I need that. Next year. So I decided not to do the sand this year. I was going to do the sand and I just decided not to because lawn care net's coming and I didn't want my house to look like a beach. While I do want it to look like a beach, I killed the front yard and that doesn't look too hot. So we gotta have some grass for him to mow. And when your lawn looks like this, you cannot mow it for a week or two, or maybe not that long, but you can't mow it with the reel because it'll just eat up your turf or eat up your reel really fast. So you gotta kind of wait till the sand works its way down. Okay, so this thing's called like a level lawn. You get this on Amazon or whatever. It's a 24 inch or something like that. I think these things are 150 bucks or something. They're not exactly cheap, but they're gold. And he, and Joel said these things are worth their weight in gold or whatever. He loves them. But it works really good to just work the sand down in and to keep it flat. I mean, for my lawn, I like to use the old uh, I like to use the drag behind my four-wheeler because my lawn is large, but for a small lawn like this, and most people have a smaller lawn, this is perfect, actually. And I've never used one of these before. It's my first time ever. Let's try this little pile right here and see what happens here. Oh, got a low spot right there. So you're saying you did notice a difference after the last leveling? Oh man, like the last leveling, it took weeks to get the sand to even just fall into the grass. And this time as I was throwing it down, I could see it disappear. But so what about when you were mowing? Did you notice that it was more level? Oh yeah. After oh, yeah. the first Absolutely. round? Absolutely. I mean, the way it felt all summer long was incredible. Yeah. Totally incredible. I, I didn't think I was gonna feel that drastic of a difference with only one round, but. But you did, mm -hmm. you did notice. Yeah. So this deal is not a one and done, guys. You can only put a little bit of sand down each time that you do this. So you can't just put the sand down once and then, oh, it's good. Unfortunately, it's a multi-year process to get it super smooth. I mean, this is his second time doing it. And there's still a little bit of bumps, low spots here and there, but it will make a a dramatic difference after the second round. If you're gonna go down this route, you can't just plan on doing it one time. Well, you can do it once and it will make a big difference. Doing it a second or a third time will make the biggest difference. 
So I definitely see myself getting one of these rakes for sure. This is super nice for getting around the tight areas that you can't get with the drag. So I definitely am a fan of this thing, for sure. He said that he ordered five ton of sand and it cost him, I think he said 250 bucks. So that's kind of expensive actually. And he went and picked it up himself. He's got all the sand towards the front of the trailer and we're gonna lift it up and just push it towards the back. Yeah, these dump trailers, I tell you, they are flipping awesome. I love them so much. So he's just bringing the sand forward so he doesn't have to climb up there, shovel it, and make his life just a little bit easier. And I don't know if he's going to do all this tonight or he's gonna, I think he's got it for another friend or something. He's saying that he's got, uh, that he's gonna do their lawn as well. I wonder how many of you guys have done this after watching my sand videos. If you've done this and had success with it, Leave a comment below if you've done this and it would turned out for a disaster for you. Leave a comment below. But yeah, just thought it was pretty cool. Come over here and show you what we got going on. So putting sand down like that he's doing is super addictive because it's the result is so awesome. And I know it's sand and I know there's no nutrients and I know it's like controversial, whatever, but man, it, it works. I tell you, if you're, if you're wanting to level your lawn, not add nutrients, level it. That's the way to go. That's the kind of work that the lawn care nuts like us actually like to do. So it makes the lawn look awesome and it's well worth the effort that you put into it because the reward is so great. Just wanted to show you that and stop by, see what he's up to and uh, yeah, good dude. He is a good dude. Every time I do a sanding project, I always get the same questions. And I just want to talk about those for just a quick seconds. Why do you use sand and not soil? So this is the main question that I get. So why sand and not soil? Because sand has good leveling properties. It levels very easily and it will work itself down into down below the canopy of the grass down to the soil level a lot easier than dirt will. So the dirt if you put it on there will just smother it. So why not use compost? Compost has organic matter which is really good for your lawn but organic matter breaks down over time and so eventually you end up with a bumpy lawn because the organic matter broke down. The sand does not have organic matter in it and does not have nutrients in it, which is not a good thing, but it levels properly and it doesn't break down over time like uh, compost will. All right, so sand has no nutrients. Why would you use sand? It's got no nutrients. So this is the other thing you guys gotta realize is we're only talking about a small minor layer of sand maybe a half inch to an inch at the most. The roots are four to eight inches, depending on the grass type you have. So the roots are in the soil. So we're not talking about the roots growing only in sand, they're in the soil. We're just talking about a small sand cap. What kind of sand should I use? You wanna to go to your ready mix supplier and ask them for mason sand, your concrete ready mix supplier, ask them for mason sand want to use the kind of sand that's screened it really kind of doesn't matter what kind of sand you use you want to use a sharp sand but it needs to be screened and preferably up to around two millimeters or so if you're gonna be doing a real mower then you want to get it screened down to two millimeters if you are just using a rotary mower your basic sand will probably be okay as long as it doesn't have too big of pebbles in it. You just don't want the big chunks. So the stuff that I buy is two millimeter screened and it's about $20 per ton delivered. So these sand suppliers and these dirt suppliers, they weigh things rather than um, doing it by the cubic yard because the cubic yard is subjective but the weight is a lot easier for them to gauge how much they are selling and, and giving to you so they weigh it. How much sand do you need per a given area? If you have a small lawn you probably want about a, a cubic yard and a half of sand per every 1,000 square feet. Uh, should I put seed down before I sand or should I put seed down after? If you're planning on overseeding, I would overseed after you put the sand down. Fertilizer, should I fertilize before or after the sand? Fertilizer, you, I would say you should fertilize your lawn about a week prior to the sand. So you can get it really watered in and get it really growing gangbusters because when you put the sand on, it's going to stunt it and you really want it growing really good when you put the sand on there. 
before you put the sand on your lawn, you're gonna to wanna to take your mower to it and mow it down as low as you can mentally handle. I know that sometimes you're like, feel like you're scalping your lawn because it's going down so low, but I promise you, the sand is a million times easier to spread if you cut your lawn as low as you possibly can. You want to cut that sucker down low and then immediately put the sand on as quickly as you can after you mow it. If you cut it down really low and then you wait a couple days, it just grows up pretty quick because you fertilized it and then it becomes more difficult to spread the sand. Tall grass, two inches, three inches, makes it a lot more difficult to spread the sand. You're gonna need some kind of drag device so you can spread the sand out and then drag it around and level it. You've seen my drag mat, I've made a bit video on that and I can refer to that video in the description or wherever, but. And then also you'll need some kind of way to spread the sand. It's just gonna be miserable if you try to do a whole truckload of sand with a wheelbarrow. You need some kind of a motorized something that can pull a wagon around or a trailer or something so you don't have to do the heavy lifting. I understand shoveling the sand into the wheelbarrow or the wagon, but you do not want to be pushing that sand around on your lawn in a wheelbarrow. It will wear you out and it will just make the experience miserable and you'll hate it. Get yourself a motorized something and you need something motorized to drag your drag around. They make those little hand rakes that are uh, like a little mini drag on on a pole. You can they're like sand rakes or leveling rakes or something like that is what they call them. You could buy a drag mat. Those are like, I don't know, a couple hundred bucks or something like that. I just found it cheaper and a lot easier for me just to buy, a, buy the parts and to build a drag myself. So that's what I did. I'm at the local uh, supply house getting some compost for my beds. I'm gonna put this on my bed so I can have some nice black dirt, hopefully eventually. So it's about a yard of compost here. Got all different stuff here. Topsoil plant, bark, colored bark, and a bunch of stuff here. Soil pep. Playground stuff. All different kinds of stuff here. Anyways, thanks for watching, and we will see you guys in the next one.